My name is Siobhan Vienno, and I am one of the owners of Tailblazers Red Deer. Tailblazers is a health food store for pets. We specialize in species appropriate, biologically appropriate foods. Everything that we carry in store goes through an approvals process to ensure that it meets the highest qualities for standard as well as safety. So we look at where the ingredients are sourced, how the products are manufactured, and our head office will decide if it meets the Tailblazers standards. We have a large focus on raw food uh, as being one of the biologically appropriate foods. We also have a large selection of freeze-dried kibble, treats, toys, and accessories. The future for Tailblazers looks great for us. We currently have three physical locations, one being our original store in Red Deer on the north end, one being the self store that we opened in January of last year, and then our other store in Calgary that we took over in February of 2022. We are currently looking to move into shipping and delivery. So we will be shipping all across Canada. And for delivery, we've got two vans that are currently being equipped with decals and uh, refrigeration units so that we can do raw food and dry food deliveries throughout central and southern Alberta. When we found out that we were nominated as a finalist, we definitely felt honored uh, and, and we're surprised that we we made the top three. We we definitely work hard to try to do what we can for our staff, for our customers, for the community, and it's just amazing that we were able to be recognized for that and as a finalist. I'm Tal Raba with RT Heating, and I'm the owner. Alan Goodman. I've been with uh, RT for six years now. I'm a service technician. I'm Matt Hensler. I am one of the sheet metal techs on the staff at RT there and uh, my role is to go in, install furnaces, ACs, ductwork, some indoor quality of products if the customer wants it. Basically what we do is hot water tank installs, furnace repairs, uh, furnace maintenance. We do have a yearly maintenance plan for furnaces, air conditioners, hot water tanks, HRVs, whole house humidifiers. And yeah, we really try and strive to let the client know that uh, maintenance is an important factor in you know preventing breakdowns in the house. I mean, right now the biggest goal is to keep training the guys all so that they're up to date. Whether it's on customer service, we really focus on that, or just technical training. So throughout the year, we do multiple trainings. The new location is, is where we're going to grow into that and, and hopefully get settled in there here in the winter. We we will likely add team members as we go, but that's not my main focus. My main focus is usually making efficient work out of what we have now as a team. So I don't want to hire 10 extra people and and not have the work for them. I want to keep our team happy with where we are and slowly grow. So that's what the future is, is slow, steady growth. My team puts in a lot of a lot of time and energy into their service calls, into their installs, into their customer service. So it's, it's really cool to be recognized and, and be up against so many great businesses. My name's Melissa Baldeck and I own Three Broke Sisters. Our business is a locally owned women's boutique. Uh, we cater to all ranges of ages. Uh, we have ladies from 12, 13 years old, all the way up over 70. If you wanna be in comfortable, affordable clothes, we're the place to come. Um, we carry great brands such as Can Can Jeans, Cut From The Cloth, Wanakomi, Veramoda only, and I bring in trendy pieces from all over the world weekly. So um, those ones are usually quick grabs from the ladies in town because once they're gone, we're not getting it again. So be quick if you like it. We started online in February of 2020. Um, it quickly grew with COVID over that short uh, time there. So we grew out of our space within a year at the house and I ended up renting a space with Colleen at Studio Pilates. So our customers had a space to come and try on clothes. Within eight months, we outgrew that. And then we moved into Eastview location and outgrew that quite quickly. And now we're in our beautiful 2000 square foot space over on Sharp Ave. Our future, okay, we've got some plans up our sleeves. We're kind of holding them close, so stay tuned. We're working on our website. We'd like to expand there and um, have a better social website online experience. Um, and we have some other um, tricks up our sleeves and we're looking at kind of growing and maybe doing another store somewhere else. Wow, it was um, quite an honor. We were kind of shocked. Uh, I didn't see this coming at all. We've just been our head down, you know, getting this done and building so quickly. And um, I just have such great staff. It's just been an honor to, to be here and be nominated. <laughs>